One of the things you have to set up for warehouse management is the system user. And then the system user, you have to assign a person or employee to that system user account. And something that I mess up every once in a while, I, I have to admit, I don't, I don't do this too often, but sometimes I mess up when I'm assigning the person to the system user record. And when you mess that up, it appears that you can't change it, but you actually can. It, it's, a, it's a little bit different. You, it's not just an edit and change. So I wanted to show you today how you can go back and you can fix that person record on a system user record uh, in case you've messed that up and assigned the wrong name. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go over into uh, finance and operations, go under system admin and then users, what I'm talking about is this person here. So for warehouse management, it's used for other things, but for warehouse management specifically, you have to have a person assigned to a user to get it to work. Um, so let's just say that, uh, let's just use Daniel here. And this is the person field. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. And let's just pick somebody here. Let's just say I accidentally assigned Aaron to that, to that record there. And let me just save that. And once you do that, you'll notice that it's grayed out, right? So again, this is something that I don't do that often. It's just a mistake that happens every once in a while, but it's good to know how to fix this. You can actually change this. Um, so what you do is you need to come up to the maintain versions tab up here. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna delete this record here. So we're gonna delete that record. We're going to say yes, save that and then we close this, and then let's just do a refresh here, and notice our person field is back to where it was before, all right? So it's not the most straightforward thing to do. It's not hard to do once you know how to do it, but it's, it's something that would be easy to miss if you weren't sure how to do it. And like, I do this often enough where I, I, I don't remember how, how to do it, and I have to go look it up, so I, so I thought I'd do a video to show you and then try and help me remember uh, how to do that. Okay. So I hope you found some value in this. Hope this gets you out of a sticky situation. If you did till next time, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.